Hello, everybody. I have something to look at today. It's a boom arm for a microphone. A baton. Let's take a look in the box and see what we have. I have not opened this yet. T10 boom arm for microphone. All right. Start off with this uh, clamp. I like this style clamp because it's got this wide base on it. It has a place for uh, your headphones if you use headphones when you record. And I like this because you can lock the boom. Get the rest of this stuff out of the plastic. This is going to clamp onto a desk up to two inches thick. This came with a uh, mic holder pop screen. It came with a couple extra rubber bands. It's actually set up more for a side address. Uh, condenser mic but with the included rubber bands o-rings I was able to uh, put it on an SM57 let's go ahead and hook this SM57 up see what it sounds like I don't know with the springs on here this is probably gonna have some kind of handling noise if you hit the boom ideally you're not gonna be hitting the boom don't know what that sounds like not wearing my headphones. With this pop filter on here, you should be able to get up fairly close to the microphone and you should be able to get some pretty decent sound out of it. I will say the springs on this, the tension on this is in no way close to its limit with this SM57. The, uh, the table bracket with the lock on it, it fits in there snug enough. It's not sloppy doesn't want to turn around slip around or anything but you can lock it into place with that knob personally for my application i didn't find it necessary to make any adjustments to it at all but you've got a lot of leeway on this depends on where you want to mount the microphone uh, you wouldn't want it in front of your face but this gives you the ability to get this thing into about any position that you want. And I think this would be a good position if you're doing some sort of a, a voiceover or whatever, or podcast. Even uh, from this angle here, it's not too bad. See what we look like from up here. I don't see any problems with this. I'm liking this little thing. One thing I do like about it a lot, it's very lightweight. The big ones are not portable. This one would be portable. When I go somewhere in my RV, I'm pretty sure that the iRig is going to go with me, and this is going to go with me, and probably with the SM57. I'm really liking this. I'm going to have to play it back and see what the audio sounds like. Most likely, I'm going to be pretty happy with this. I'll put a link to it down in the description if you want to check it out. It's very inexpensive. If you're just getting started, this will get you going. If you're looking for something that's more of a portable setup, I think this would be great. SM57, iRig, and uh, this little boom arm, I think is a winner. Figured rather than just tell you about it, I would show you what it looks like. I've got this set up. I've got uh, the GoPro over on the stove. Just show you a quick shot from the GoPro to show you what this looks like. But I think this is going to be a great portable setup when we're on the road. Sherry can use it. I can use it. I've got the iRig, the iRig 2 Pre. And I've got that set up into my iPhone, and I'm using the uh, toner mic arm with the SM57. I think this is a good portable setup. Let you be the judge on all that stuff. Oh, I'm going to show you a quick shot comparing this arm to a different brand of arm and show you the differences. And I think the other arm was more expensive than this one is, and I like this one much better. I'll show you why. Hey, I'm going to do a short clip on this uh, just to show you. This is another brand. The boom arm itself is just about the same. The base is where the big difference is. You can see this is a, a, the toner has a much wider base, a lot more stable. No headphone holder on here, headphone holder on here. They look like they'll open up about the same amount other than... Uh, this is a lot more secure. This one is, it has a lot of movement in it. it. It doesn't lock into place. This one, on the other hand, 
it's it's secure just like it is and if you wanted to lock it into a particular position you do have a locking knob on the toner personally i think this is a pretty good deal for a portable setup i really like the t10 toner arm i'll throw a link in the description if you want to check it out a little closer and i appreciate everybody that's still here i'm gonna throw a couple other videos up over here I'll catch you in one of those or I'll catch you down the road